Hi everyone, it's been about two months now since I posted my uh, tell-all, come out about my my haunting and I uh, was doing a little review on my notes here about what's been happening in my home and I have quite a few notes about what uh, has been going on. I have about five to seven things that happened within like each month and I'd like to go through them and tell you uh, what's been happening. Uh, in, uh, I posted that one in May. I think it was like May 19th and um, I'm going to go through these real quickly. Um, I might get throwing glasses here. Um, in June, um, uh, that's when I had the pot fly out of the dish strainer and uh, also my small Boston Terrier went flying out the window. I have no reason why that happened. I'll get into that maybe in another video. I wasn't even here when that happened. Uh, I saw an apparition in my uh, laundry room. I had uh, my fork hit the plate when I was outside. I heard it. That's the second time that happened. I also felt fingers running down my back. Uh, 2.30 in the morning I felt something grab my legs. And uh, the fan fell uh, while my dog was crossing the kitchen. I, I think there's something after my dog. I'll, maybe I'll make a video about that. Uh, there's something something after my one dog here. I had my USB um, external hard drive unplugged from my laptop in the kitchen. There's uh, I have a lot of activity in my kitchen. Also I had my locked furnace door open. Uh, something was going on with my phone downstairs. I have brand new phones and uh, uh, it said line in use, like somebody was use, using it. I heard a loud bang in my heating system downstairs. I haven't used my heating system in like nine years because I had electric heat in. Uh, there was a loud bang. And my disabled son heard something in the kitchen. Um, he's the one who doesn't even believe in paranormal stuff. Um, the, um, he came in and uh, he told me that he heard something in the kitchen. And that really surprised me. And uh, shadows out my back door. And, uh, oh, here's, here's something that uh, was really freaky. I was in the kitchen using my laptop, and I was getting up. And uh, I bumped into uh, uh, one of my cats. Well, I thought it was one of my cats. And uh, I, I quickly looked, and uh, there was no cat. Last year, um, which I was telling in my tell-all uh, haunted video, I we were brushed up against a spirit cat, my disabled son and I, and my oldest son saw uh, an apparition of a cat. But uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I was getting up from the, the kitchen table, and I had my shorts on, and I felt the fur of the cat, and I thought it was one of my cats. And uh, I quickly looked, and there was no cat at all. Not in the kitchen, not underneath the table or anything, and I was just awestruck. I was like, what the hell? You know, I felt the fur, and in the kitchen a couple of years ago was when one of our cats, Garfield, died. You know, I was with him. You know, we couldn't get a hold of our bed or anything. And I was laying with him on the floor, and it was only just a foot away from where this happened. I thought, you got to be kidding me. I actually felt the fur of the spirit cat. That, that was just the freakiest thing. And this just happened a couple of weeks ago. No, wait, let me just get my glasses on. My glasses are broken. That's why I'm holding them <laughs> to get my glasses fixed. Okay. Oh, doilies. I bought some uh, some doilies for my end tables, and uh, uh, they were uh, one of them was pulled halfway off uh, with my uh, my little knickknack on it, and it was almost like a little spirit kid um, pulling it off the the end table, and. Uh, uh, laptop cord was pulled in half. If you have a if you have a laptop, you know what kind of cord that comes with it. It comes in two pieces. I was uh, uh, I came uh, into the living room with my laptop and only used it for a half an hour. So I took it back into the kitchen to plug it back into the you know to charge it back in. And I was wondering why it wasn't being charged up. And uh, and I was wondering you know wondering what was going on. And uh, why it wasn't being charged, and I found out that the cord wasn't, uh, uh, you know, it was uh, being, uh, it was unplugged, and that's the second time that happened. And uh, what else we have here? 
And, uh, oh, sorry about the editing. My dog was barking there. And uh, just a few days ago, I was by the kitchen sink, and uh, I heard a loud, I was doing the dishes, and then uh, I heard a loud man's voice, and I was like, oh, freaking wow. That that just, like, totally scared the shit out of me. And I knew what I heard, but I, I, I didn't know what the words were or anything, but it was just like, somebody was like, Psh, right in my ear. Freaking wow. I mean, I'm, I don't, I never had that before. I mean, I had something uh, scream in my ear. I think it was 2002 where something screamed in my ear and woke me up. And I should have listened to it because it was almost like something was uh, letting me be aware of what was going to happen because 45 minutes later my smoke alarm went off and I was having a malfunction in my uh, furnace room where it was like a circus here. I had four fire engines and they were it was almost going to be a fire. So whatever spirit was here yelling in my ear to try to wake me up, uh, yeah, I, I should have listened because I fell back to sleep after this thing screamed in my ear because I was outside. I was like half naked. I didn't have no clothes on. You know, this my house was like full of. It was nothing but black. That's how soot and that smoky my house was. I couldn't even get my animals out. They wouldn't even let me come back in to get my animals. I, my animals could have been killed. It was so bad. But yeah, I mean, maybe I should listen to these spirits, whatever they have to say. But yeah, if I think of anything else, you know what? I was just looking through these notes real quick, and there's a lot more. That, but I, the, this is getting pretty lengthy, and I know these guys don't even like to listen to lengthy things, but okay, I'm going to let you go. But that's a quick update about what's been going on for the past two months, and uh, uh, I'll make uh, some more things, and uh, keep you updated about what's going on. Okay, see you later.